Mrs. Noor was an old woman who was diagnosed with diabetes. She visited the doctor with her eldest son, Ahmed, who was very concerned for her. The doctor told Ahmed that her mother needed to be injected insulin on a regular basis. She told him all about the precautions and the management and asked him to teach everything slowly to her mother so that she can take care of her herself. Ahmed, on the other hand, really wanted to care for his mother. He also thought that his illiterate mother would not be able to understand all this complicated stuff. So he himself took care of the needs of his mother. Mrs. Noor was really satisfied, but he started to feel the burden. He started to remain stressed and face decreased levels of attention while working. A few weeks later, Ahmed had a business meeting for which he had to leave the city for some days. His younger brother, Kamal, was free from his studies, so he called him to come home and take care of Mrs. Noor. He taught him everything and left him in charge of his mother's medication. While Kamal didn't take his brother's advice seriously, he spent most of his time playing video games while his mother knew nothing about her medications. One day she observed a wound on her foot, but she ignored it because it wasn't painful. She started feeling unwell the other day. Thinking that insulin injection would treat her, she injected herself with the insulin, but the dose was high. Ahmed came back from his meeting just to see his mother unconscious on the ground while Kamal was standing beside, terrified. Mrs. Noor was taken to the hospital and managed. The doctor called her attendant into her office. Ahmed thought that the doctor would remind him how bad he is as a son because he was not able to take care for her mother, but what the doctor said gave him a shock. She said, your mother didn't do self-care. Every year, the International Self-Care Day is celebrated on July 24th to remind us that we need to commit to set aside time for things that will help us to recharge our batteries and maintain our health and well-being. Who introduced the term self-care? Well, Socrates or Sukrat in the ancient Greece. It was more popularized by the doctors who wanted the active participation of patients in their health care to reduce the burden on the staff. Self-care has seven pillars, knowledge and health literacy, mental well-being, physical activity, healthy eating, risk avoidance or mitigation, good hygiene, and rational and responsible use of products, services, diagnostics, and medicine. But how can you create your own self-care routine? As simple, assess your needs. Find activities that rejuvenate you, prioritize these activities, and establish a routine. Just like Mrs. Noor established the routine of injecting herself 12 units of insulin every day before dinner, avoided eating sugary foods, and wore special shoes for diabetics. While Ahmed and Kamal could do their work in peace, knowing that their mother is independent enough to take care of herself. You don't have to overwhelm yourself. Just start small and then grow. You can listen to a new podcast, watch a guided meditation video, go to therapy, have a green salad as a snack, or declutter five items from your space. These small steps will ultimately become a routine that you will be able to call your own self-care routine. Be good and explore yourself. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe my channel for more videos and crafts.